Welcome to the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Wyborny, and this is Exploring Mystery Structure 3. This is Mystery Structure number 3. This mystery structure comes with two questions. How many cubes are there? And how do you know? Pause the video to answer two questions. How many cubes are there? How do you know? Let's continue by seeing how some people break this structure apart. Some people break this apart into two groups of six on the sides and another group of six on the top and bottom. Other people see a group of six on the outside, another group of six on the inside, and another group of six on the top and bottom. Some people see six groups of three. Here's one group of three, two groups of three, three groups of three, four groups of three, five groups of three, six groups of three. And a really creative way of seeing this is to move part of it. Some people will snap off the top part and move it down into the gap, like this. Then they will find the total of the large rectangle, which is 15, and then add the rest, which is another group of three. Let's take a second look at how the structures were broken apart. Almost every time we find that there is more than one way to describe what we see. The first structure can be described as 6 plus 6 plus 6, or it can be described as 3 groups of 6. The second structure can be described as 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, or it can be described as 6 groups of 3. The third structure can be described as 6 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, or it can be described as 6 plus 4 groups of 3. And the fourth structure can be described as 15 plus 3, or it can be described as 5 groups of 3 plus 3. Can you see it several different ways? You can pause the video on the screen to try to find even more ways to break this shape apart. Now get ready to draw, because in the next video we'll use paper and pencil, and I will show you how to draw this three-dimensional shape. This is the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Wyborny, and this is Exploring Mystery Structure 3.